Hey guys, Nelson family here from the Dominican Republic. We're so excited to be able to share with you guys the next few minutes about our ministry. We're going to introduce ourselves real quick. We're going to start with the kids. Hi, I'm Caroline. I'm 15. And my favorite thing about being in the Dominican is that I get to help with our kids' ministry. I'm Jude. I'm nine years old. I like playing Minecraft. And my favorite thing about being in the Dominican is playing with my friends. Good. And who are you? My name is Gianetta. I'm playing my dinosaur. Why? <laughs> he likes to play with his dinosaur. And he's three years old. All right, you guys. All right, you guys can go. All right, and so I'm Courtney. And I'm Jay. We're missionaries here in the Dominican Republic. We've lived in the Dominican Republic um, over five years now. And um, we have uh, a ministry. Our primary ministry is a church plant. That's where we started a church here. And we worship with the local believers. We were called to ministry um, about seven years ago. We came here on a short-term mission trip. And we uh, explored these same streets, talked to these same people. And while we were here, the Lord called us to move here and be missionaries here. And so we've been here now for over five years. We also lived in Costa Rica before this, so we learned to speak Spanish so we could minister to the people here in the Dominican Republic. Our ministry, like I told you earlier, includes a church plant where we worship with the uh, um, people here. We also have several other ministries that we do. We have a sports ministry, which we do baseball, and we have volleyball and basketball. We have an English ministry where Courtney teaches people in the community how to speak English. We have a medical ministry where we're able to meet medical needs as they come up, and we have medical clinics several times a year. Um, we also have kids ministry where we have kids club every Tuesday night. We have a youth ministry. And any, any other way we can think of to reach out to the community, we have community development, we build playgrounds, we have all kinds of things that we do to reach out to the community. And we do those things by working with local people. And one of them is here today. So Javier, why don't you come over? And this is Javier Martinez. He is uh, hey one, of, one of our Christians that we have uh, shared the gospel with. And he got saved and he's, been, he's being discipled and he is becoming a great leader in our ministry in the church. Yeah, um, it's a pleasure for me to serve with Nelson. Uh, I've been serving with them since they, got, since they, they came here and like five years ago. So now, right now my role is the, I'm a youth, the youth leader or the youth minister. So it is nice to, to be serving with Nelson. And anything, uh, just pray for the, ministry, for the ministry and specifically for the youth ministry. Thank you, Javier. Um, Courtney's gonna share some prayer requests. Um. So as you know, this, this coronavirus season has really affected um, not only where you live, but it's also affected us here in the Dominican. It's changed. Um, many people have been unable to work. Many people have been without food. So our big prayer right now is to keep everyone safe, um, to be able to provide food. One of the things we've been doing lately in our ministry is really providing food packages to people that are hungry and in need and without um, work and without money. So pray for them. Pray that the coronavirus, just like um, in the U.S., we're praying for it to go away. Pray that it will go away here in the Dominican. Pray for the people to um, have everything they need, that um, they will have all the food they need, the medicines they need, their basic supplies, and help Pray for us that we will know how the Lord is calling us to meet those needs and pray for us as we continue with our food ministry, um, as we reach out to our local villages and our local um, areas of ministry with our church as we feed the hungry. Um, continue to pray for our children's ministry, just like you guys um, being young children and even those that are in, our, in the youth program back home, pray for the children and youth here in the Dominican that they will come to know the Lord that we will um, be able to serve them and to teach them well and pray for those who are becoming Christian. We have a lot of youth that are becoming Christians. So pray for them as they learn the Bible, as they learn what it looks like to um, walk in fellowship with the Lord and to walk in a relationship with Him. Um, also pray for our other areas of ministry. Like Jay was telling you, we have sports, which a lot of you play baseball probably or have been to a baseball game. So pray for them as they go about their sports, we're able to come in and tell them about Jesus. So pray that they will listen and hear the truth of, um, of the gospel and pray for us as we share that. 
And then also pray for our other areas of ministry, the English ministry, our medical ministry, where we work in our villages. We have partner churches we work with. Just pray for us that we will stay encouraged and stay strong and that we will have wisdom in, in how to represent Christ well and um, pray for the people of the Dominican that they will hear and that they will become Christians and that they will do just like we explained that Javier is doing. He's a new Christian that is now becoming a leader and telling others about Christ that the people of the Dominican will not only become Christians but then will take the next step and become leaders and, um, and Christ followers that tell others and disciple other new believers. Thank you guys so much for your time. It was a pleasure for us to share with you a little bit about our ministry here in Sabaneta and the Dominican Republic. Um, we hope you guys have a great virtual camp and we hope to see you guys again soon. Bye. Bye. Whoa. Whoa.